I'm so pleased to be launching um, Aussie Bunget uh, today. As you know, in the last uh, couple of years, the Embassy has put in a great effort around trying to find those connections between uh, the Australian people and the Indonesian people. I think in the past five to ten years, there's been a very significant shift in the way our two countries work and talk to each work together and talk to each other. Too often, I think, we look at the very formal indications of how the two countries are getting along, forgetting that each, each of our countries has a huge population doing all sorts of things in their everyday life, and in many cases, doing all sorts of things in their everyday life with Indonesia or Australia. As you know, you know Australia is very proud to be the number one destination for Indonesian students. And over the past couple of years, we've been working on a program that will get more than 3,000 Australian students to Indonesia. Last year, our numbers of tourists from Indonesia into Australia grew uh, very significantly, and the same from Australia into Indonesia, which is very good news because, I, as I've always said, the two great cables that connect our countries are education and tourism. So I'm very keen to, to continue that. But I think there is a new frontier out there for us. And I think the new frontier in the community is the creativity that you can find in both our countries, in the creative sectors. You see in Indonesia some wonderful films. You see some fantastic furniture design and some wonderful fashion. And the same in Australia. Uh, Australia made the first uh, feature film in the world in, the, in the 1906. In the 1970s, we had Australian New Wave film, which produced 400 fantastic films uh, some of which you know, the most famous being Mad Max, of course. Uh, in recent years, we've seen uh, furniture design in Australia become a, a, a great passion of many people and has taught at many of our great universities. And of course, we have our own wonderful fashion designers as well. So it strikes me that with, with the creativity that's in, in Indonesia, the creativity that's in Australia, there must be opportunities to do more together. I think we're already doing a great deal. So many uh, fashion designers in Indonesia are alumni of Australian design schools, and we're very proud of that. And similarly, you have many Australians coming to Indonesia to look at design opportunities and to work here. So I'm very keen to and continue to encourage that, because I think there's opportunity for innovation, creativity, and importantly, for jobs. Small and medium-sized businesses generate lots of jobs, and both our countries are, are chasing jobs like everybody else in the world. Um, it strikes me too that Aussie Bunget is a terrific hashtag to use if you think of Australia, as I do, as a lifestyle superpower. So 80, 75 to 80 percent of the Australian economy is in services. And those services are in uh, often creative services, providing opportunity uh, to, to visitors uh, from other countries. And I think that's something we should celebrate, that Australians are very good at welcoming visitors, whether they be tourists, business people or students and that we go out of our way to provide a, a terrific experience for them. So as a lifestyle superpower, I thought it was something we should celebrate through this year. So as Daniel said, we'll be looking at a theme for each month. Uh, uh, that's not to say we'll ignore the other sectors on those months, but that will be our key focus. Uh, Daniel's already looking forward to food, I know. Yes, um, I will do something on the kangaroo front for Daniel and for some others, but I think we'll see some terrific other uh, opportunities. One of the uh, months that I'm most excited about uh, this year is dance. So in the last couple of years, we've focused on film, on fashion, uh, a little bit on furniture design, uh, a little bit on engineering, but I think one of the great uh, unexplored sectors of cooperation between us is dance. The Western Australian Ballet came uh, to Indonesia last year for the first time in a long, long time, and the first Australian ballet company to come in a long, long time. And it was amazingly successful. But what I liked most was they chose a small group of Indonesians to dance with them. They did that several months out, and then they gave them coaching over Skype. So it was a real technological connection. And on the night, I have to say, uh, the Indonesian dancers were just terrific. Two, two troops, junior and senior, and wonderful. So I'm very keen to see what we can do in the dance sector uh, and in the dance uh, area. And of course, the last one is music. For those of you who follow me on Twitter, uh, you'll know that we try to push out a little bit of Australian music. I'm a big fan of Triple J, I have to say, which is why it's playing through the ceiling. So congratulations to whoever knows what their boss likes. Uh, and we'll continue to push that uh, uh, music uh, connection as an idea too. We do get quite a few young Australian singers through Indonesia, 
uh, more than you think. So we'll be looking for ways this year to help uh, give them a little bit more profile. So thank you all very much for coming along today. I hope that you follow us through the year. I hope you use the hashtag as well as follow it. And I hope you enjoy the events that we're going to put on for you. Thank you very much. Thank you.